Hi and welcome back to my channel. Let's replace the default IOC container in ace.net core with Autofac. Autofac is a very sophisticated uh, IOC container with lots of features that you cannot find in default ace.net core IOC container. Uh, so if you are working in a serious project with lots of uh, dependencies, uh, it is better uh, to use Autofac and resolve some more complex requirements. I created a new ASP.NET Core 6 project and now let's install Autofac NuGet packages. Let's go to manage NuGet package and browse and search for Autofac. You need two packages. First, Autofac itself. Let's install this one. Then let's install Autofac extensions dependency injection. It makes it easier to use Autofac in ASP.NET Core projects. Now that we have both, let's go to program.cs here and down here after creating the default builder, just use this line of code, new service provider factory, new autofac service provider factory. That's all that you need to do to replace the default IOC container with autofac. You can run the project at this point and it should work properly. So let's add the service. I go to my startup file and let's paste service. I am going to create a time service just for demonstration and let, let's extract the interface and add this to the current file. So now I can inject this inside here. Go to services, add transient and I time service to time service all is good so let's run the project and see if we have any problem our project is running let's go back to project and this time inject this into index file uh, let's go with private read only i time service and let's inject this constructor and this time I don't want to use time series in on get method I want to use it on post and let's uh, do some work here I action result and return page same page that we were in and I just want to show the time to the user so let's have a string and call it now and let's go back to index page here I want to have h1 that shows the time also I added a form to call the post method in index page and this line populates the property of now with current time and when we redirect it back to the page we can see the time in the next page let's see this in action so if I send I get the time but I get I don't see any time let's rerun the project but this time take a closer look to what happens in the background so as we are loading the index page time service created this is because I am logging the constructor inside my startup inside time service I'm writing to the console that the time service constructed so even to on, on get method we don't use time service but because we are using constructor injection we inject time service and instantiate a new instance 
So that's going to be a problem if the construction of time service takes time or it is uh, complicated and lots of resources are going to um, be the, and dedicated to time service. We can use lazy initialization with uh, autofac and that helps with managing this kind of dependency injections. And let's add lazy here and here I have to use value and then I can use get now and let's save everything and run again. This time the index page is loaded but you don't see any construction of time series here. Uh, only when I send this post message I get to have a time service instantiated and ready to work. So that is one feature that uh, you can use with Autofac that doesn't exist with default IOC container in ASP.NET Core. Of course, you're not going to use lazy initialization too many times, but uh, if ever in any scenario you had to um, lazy initialize uh, in dependency, uh, you can use Autofac and lazy class in .NET to manage the uh, situation. Thanks for watching and see you soon.